What's up, everyone? I'm back. How have you? How have you been? It's been a minute. It's been like a week, more than a no. It's been like two weeks. Um, so I just uh, I'd like to apologize to my my loyal fans. Um, by loyal fans, I mean Kai and Andrea. I, I'm terribly sorry that I that I missed last week. I uh, I wasn't busy, but my mom was here um, because I was dying, um, and so I had gotten very sick, and it was a low point in my life, and it kind of reminded me of other low points in my life. It brought me back to that 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 headspace of things aren't going well, so I should shut off. Um, and I stopped doing my dishes for a bit. Um, but I thought I'd tell my story of the gap year I took after high school because I think maybe it'll be like a positive, it has a positive ending, you know. I'm not there anymore. So basically, um, at the end of high school, I decided I was going to make the very smart decision of, um, Pursuing my dreams. I uh, got really good grades in, in uh, computer science and physics and all the, that good stuff. I decided fuck it. I'm gonna do the real money maker <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue job security in music um, And I didn't want to go to to university, um, but I I didn't have a way I Didn't want to tell my parents that because I felt like they'd be upset with me. They wouldn't accept that um, and in some ways they kind of didn't, <clears throat> uh, but I thought if I take a gap year, right, and say I want to think about things, maybe at the end of it I can go, maybe what if I just don't, what if it's like infinite gap year? Can I do that instead? Um, and my plan was to move to Montreal after like a year and just like kind of figure out music. It was a horrible plan. Terrible plan. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I, I would be drowning. I'd be probably I'd probably die, to be honest. Um, but what that meant was that at the end of the summer, my parents moved out of our our home, our home base, our first house, in I guess second house in Ontario, the one we lived at for the longest. We moved out of, um, <clears throat> and we moved to the middle of nowhere, Ontario. So I was not close to anyone I knew, and even if I was, all of them went to university. So I was like, oh, I'm on my lonesome, and I have nothing to do. I didn't get a job. I, I don't, th th this was first bad move. Bad move number one was not getting a job, because I was sitting at home all day alone, and like, my parents had jobs, so like I was just kind of sitting there, and it, the days felt long, you guys. The days felt fucking long, and going into the winter, when you're just really hungered down, I can't really go outside into the summer I want, um, if I wanted to, um, I hurt my back, which meant I couldn't, well, I could later I discovered, um, I felt like I couldn't work out, which was a great way for me to be active and, and not want to die. Um, and so anyways, I hurt my back and I was really anxious about it because I did it in a stupid way. I like tore it in the gym being stupid. So I thought I had a herniated disc. And, but I didn't want to tell my parents that because I was embarrassed and I thought they'd be like mad at me. Um, so I just sat in my room about it and got real anxious. And this is where I started developing my favorite thing that's been sticking with me for a long time. And if you know me, you know I'm this way. I started developing hypochondria like real fucking bad. Any little thing. Any little thing I felt in my body, it would be in my knee, something in my throat, feeling funny. It's cancer or I'll never walk again. One of the two things. Um, and this was bad going into it. I, was, I would have extreme, 
not maybe not extreme, but I, I was having panic attacks. And to the point where I couldn't do anything in the day, um, I would just lay in bed because I was too kind of, literally I was too scared to get out of bed. <laughs> it was awful. Um, and my room was like in the basement and it was really dark. There was like this tiny window probably about this big. No, it was definitely bigger than that. It was like this big. But it was like tucked away in the corner. Um, and it was it was mildewing in there and I started thinking of that room as like the fucking dungeon. It was it was so shit. <clears throat> and so I got extremely mentally ill and extremely lonely. I think like that entire year I maybe saw five people my age. Um, and like they <laughs> were probably like working at a restaurant I went to with my parents. I wasn't seeing anyone. It was it was dark. It was like, I felt like some weird yogi going to like seclude himself to like meditate on his thoughts, except meditating on my thoughts in the form of panic attacks and um, going on Google too much to search up cancer symptoms. But at some point, I decided I was going to start journaling. And I wanted to share some passages. I got two for you. That sort of showed my mental state at the time. And I think this will paint a really good picture. So this is number one. Okay. <laughs> I feel like, I wonder if I, I should just read it. No, I'll, just, I'll read it in my normal voice. I wish I was Batman. He's cool. Except, he's probably more lonely than me. But it can't get much worse for me, so fuck it. I'ma be the caped crusader. <laughs> so I was just here uh, tuning my guitar when I noticed that there was um... Something in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Pain keeps trying to bring me down, but no matter how hard it hits, I keep getting back up. Fuck you, Pain. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like Rocky. It doesn't matter how, and it doesn't matter how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Pain keeps trying to bring me down, but no matter how hard it hits, I keep getting back up. <laughs> um, I kind of, I kind of gave myself an out today for being consistent with my goals. Not too sure if I'm happy with my decisions today. If you couldn't already tell, I watched the R. Pats Batman today. <laughs> more and more. I watch movies these days, I get jealous of people having relationships. I watch these things and they fill a void for a few hours. And then when they're done, it gets all the more obvious how lonely I am. Although I hate giving myself all this self-pity when most of my loneliness is my fault. Aww. But just because it's my fault doesn't mean I can't complain, right? Not sure. But complaining doesn't fix anything and it certainly doesn't make me feel better. And it surely doesn't make me feel better. I just got to keep my head up and focus on what is going well instead of what is not. See, it, it started crazy, but it kind of got positive, right? Let's focus on the good things. I don't mind that, right? So like some time passed. Um, this was in... Yes, yeah, so this was in March. And then, so like, I've read this journal a few times, and it's sort of like when you're in a movie and there's a character who's already, already established to be a crazy person, and you read their journal and you find out that they didn't, they weren't always crazy. 
and you read through and you watch them slowly get more and say, that's what reading this is because now we have June 5th. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, bop. When will the pain finally stop? Like, let me just say, entry number one, overall today was good. I organized my room and it feels much nicer now. It went from ugly storage room where you put old toys and costumes, the kind in a sort of eternal darkness because no one wants to clean it, into an actual livable space with some warmth. As I write this, I am in the creation corner filled with old chests, various cushions, a record player, and candles. It's not much, but it's inspiring so far. Unfortunately, my stomach pain has not gone as I hoped. If I, died, if I died from stomach cancer or something and you're rummaging through my personal things to find out more about my psyche, hello, I hit a large sum of money in the mattress. See, like I'm joking around, I'm having a good time. Then there's Bibu, Bibu Bop, when will the pain finally stop? So that was kind of, hopefully you get a kind of painting there of what I was going through. It was not fun at all. But the point of me saying this was, and this was the past few weeks, months, uh, since I got sick and like I was stressed out about various things, uh, I reminded myself of this. And I reminded myself of this because I was so crazy and I was so... Um, I was so lonely back then. I didn't, I couldn't imagine things ever getting better. I couldn't imagine a time when I have a close-knit group of friends. I couldn't imagine a time when I'm being successful. I couldn't imagine a time when I'm out of my parents' basement. You know, uh, I couldn't imagine a time where I'm outgoing again. Um, couldn't imagine a time where I'm not self-conscious, a time where I'm not going crazy every day about, you know, WebMD articles. Um, but all of those things changed. I, I got better. I got friends. I'm way more outgoing now. I, you know, I have loads of good, successful things happening. And I'm having loads of fun. Uh, and I don't live in my parents' basement anymore. And I reminded myself of that. And it made me feel much better when I was uh, sick the past week and I needed to get help from my mom. Um, I encouraged myself and I said, like, I'm not any worse of a person because these things are happening and I'm gonna get through this and things will change, things will get better. Um, so yeah, I just kinda wanted to share that, I guess. Uh, Maybe if you're going through something that's not ideal, I don't know, it doesn't have to be as big a thing. Or it could be a bigger thing. Things are gonna change. Things are gonna change, and you're gonna look back and you're gonna go, that was a fucked up time. But trust me, you'll have years to figure all about the fucked up shit later. I got therapy sessions and I talked about it. Um, and I worked through it and I, and I developed myself and I healed from it. And you can too. So, that's my little positive message for the day. Um, because, I mean, look at, my, look at my apartment, you know? I had a fucking lamp. I had a fucking three spotlight lamp. And a painting. Now, things are getting better for me, I don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, there's my, there's my positive message for you guys. Uh, I hope that was nice. I'm keeping it short. I don't really have much to say. But anyways, 